Hi, I'm Michael from Amber. Hi, I'm Jessie from Amber. Um, Michael and I are on the SmartShift team and we're here today to explain a little bit about how commands work. So when you look in the Amber app and you see that your battery is discharging or charging, that's because a command has been issued and that command has gone through a process to reach your device. So let's go through a couple of the most common questions around commands so that we can really get to the bottom of them. So firstly, why might a command show it's doing something when nothing's happening? Whether that command comes from smart shift automation or from a manual command that you've activated, our servers will send that off to your manufacturer. Your manufacturer will then send that directly to your inverter uh, and your inverter will try and run that command. So if that's successful, we'll get a thumbs up. If it's not successful, then we get a thumbs down as a response to that. So there can be a delay at any point through that process. Maybe there's a delay with uh, your manufacturer sending the command to your inverter, or maybe there's a delay with your inverter actually responding to that command. When your inverter actually tries to action it, your inverter itself is doing a lot of different things to make sure that it's adjusting the right parameters and still doing the things it needs to do like power your home or generate solar production, for example. But essentially a delay is pretty normal and it's to be expected with this kind of system. Your inverter needs time to actually implement that command, make the required changes, and then report everything back through the systems to us as well. Cool. Thanks for that, Michael. One other question that we get quite commonly is, hey, I'm pressing the button multiple times and the command still isn't getting through. Why isn't it working? Most generally, this is going to be related to rate limits as well. So in order to essentially protect the inverter and protect all of the networks behind inverters, there is usually a limit to the amount of commands that can be sent through to your inverter. Uh, varies by manufacturer, but at the end of the day, if you're tapping the button 10 times a second, then maybe one of those will actually get through to the inverter. So best advice is just always to tap it, sit back for a bit and wait for a response from your inverter before trying another command. Sometimes they can be really quick and it can take 30 seconds to a minute. Sometimes you can expect to wait maybe five to 10 minutes. Again, that entire process can take some time and it does differ per manufacturer as well. Can I just use manual controls and turn off the automation? Well, big picture, SmartShift is designed to be a hands-off system. So we don't want you to have to be thinking about it all day, every day. The manual commands are there as a temporary override to SmartShift and what it's planning to do. Because of that reason, it is essentially built on an entire communication structure that essentially at this point requires SmartShift automation to be turned on as well. So they're not separate features at the moment, but we wanted to ensure that you had manual commands at your disposal if you feel like you need to use them. So Michael, is there anything else I should be thinking about when issuing a manual command? Yeah, a couple other things that might get in the way of the manual command actually being actioned, the API or the rate limits, which are set by the manufacturer to limit the amount of requests that come through. Also certain settings like the minimum reserve level, which is set directly on your battery. If that's set too high and you're trying to discharge your battery, then that will prevent the discharge from happening. There can also be export limits imposed by the network that affect your site, so that is definitely one to consider if you're looking at exporting or discharging commands. But then other general troubleshooting like connectivity. The system of course needs to be online, connected to the internet, correctly sending through data so that our commands can even reach your inverter. And as always, check our known issues tracker to see if it's an issue that might be affecting more people within Amber as well.